I'm Dylan Johns, I'm a seven foot power forward at Ipswich Basketball Academy and I've committed to Texas A&M for next season. I'll describe my game as a finesse power forward, athletic, I like to play above the rim, good help side defender, good one-on-one -on -one defender. Basketball is the most important thing in my life. It's an escape from everything else that's going on in the real world. Uh, it's just a chance to kind of show what I can do, show that uh, being, a lot of it is being tall is not is a good thing all of a sudden and it makes you accept it. Well I first started playing basketball when I started growing to an exceptional height and I walked into what I thought was a local league session and Nick, Nick, coach Nick Drain from, um, from IBA saw me there and wouldn't let me leave basically. Uh, he got me started with the under 14s at Tomcats and since then I um, started playing for Barking later on and then pretty much got went to Spain after that. So it was all pretty quick. The transition between going from England to Spain was quite difficult because I didn't know the language. I moved to Madrid where not a lot of people will speak English. Um, I had to learn a lot of plays. They love, they love to run their sets. I turned into more of a finesse power forward, finesse centre uh, pretty quickly. And then coming back from Spain, was able to use that to my advantage very, very easily in England. Yesterday I committed to Texas A&M, uh, Division One school in America. Um, yeah, I pretty much it was an easy choice in the end of the day because they're just they're unrivaled with their facilities, with the standard they play at. They play in the SEC, which is one of the best divisions, one of the best conferences in Division One basketball. Um, I mean, their facilities are amazing. They have a strength coach that just works with basketball, and that's very rare even in the NCAA in Division One. So I'll be getting bigger, stronger very quickly, which is an important part, important addition to my game. Just want to be able to play as much as possible, and they don't have a lot of size. I think the biggest difference is all of a sudden I'll be playing against people more or less my own age, but with, again, 40 pounds more weight on. So I've got to adapt quickly to playing against people that are bigger, stronger, but equally athletic, athletic as me. Um, I've been invited to the GB Under 20s camps this summer. Uh, I really hope to make the final cut. Uh, I believe I can with my work ethic. I really think we have the, the, the players the players to win games. We, I know we have the talent and the players to win games. I love playing for my country. Playing for my country is the most important thing. I mean, it's really important to, to have pride in wearing the, the England flag or the Great Britain flag. And to represent everyone in your country at a sport is, is you know, there's no comparison. There's no, nothing you can compare it with. I had Coach Newman as a 14-year-old, 15-year-old kid. Um, he was the one, he's a real tough guy and he, you know, wouldn't let me be a weak player. And Coach Drain, at the same age I had him, and even now I still have him. And he just, he really knows what he's talking about with basketball and the academy is a really great place to learn. Uh, with Coach Sadler as well, who's, who's done it all before. He's played in America, he's played in, in Europe. He just knows what he's talking about. And also I don't want to leave out Barking Abbey. I was at Barking Abbey for a year and that really helped. They were the ones got, that got me into Spain. Uh, Lloyd Gardner, uh, he really helped me, really helped my career. I had individuals with him every day, really helped me get better as a basketball player. In five years, I hope to be playing in the NBA. I hope to have a really good contract. Um, the coaching staff think that I have, the coaching staff at Texas A&M think I have the potential to play in the NBA, and that's why they were so interested in me. They said, add 40 pounds to me, you know, get my jump shot a bit better, get me going to the rim harder, and I could be an NBA player in four or five years. I really feel like I can, I can do it if I work hard enough.